guys. Today, I went to Barnes & Nobles and I found uh, the latest issue of Car and Driver. Now, I don't know if you guys out there are familiar with the magazine. I'm sure you've heard of it. And to tell you the truth, I'm surprised that they were still even printing it, this magazine, as I haven't bought one in years. And I just picked it up and started browsing through it. And I saw something on the last page of the magazine, and which totally blew my mind. And I'm going to share it with you guys right now. As you can tell, I'm wearing my Pontiac hat, so this announcement has quite a bit to do with Pontiac. But um, before we go into that, let me just go over a brief little history of the last time we saw Pontiac. It's been almost 15 years since the last Pontiac rolled off the line. And there's an entire generation out there that has grown up without knowing one thing or ever having seen a Pontiac rolling down the street. I mean, think about that. It's been about 15 years since we had a new Pontiac. And as you know, I'm a huge Pontiac fan. I'm a huge, I have two Pontiac Fieros. My, one of my favorite cars in the entire world. I've owned Firebirds both second and third generation F bodies and Pontiac has been in my blood from the beginning and uh, it sometimes surprises me that you could talk to these younger kids nowadays and they don't even know what a Pontiac is As a matter of fact at my job we have a couple of the new kids that have been hired up and um, they've never even heard of Pontiac huh? and I'm sitting to myself going how can you not have heard of the father of the muscle car, the king of the road burners. I mean, in the 80s, they were GM's premier performance division. You know, they were the ones who always uh, fought, no matter how hard, how many roadblocks GM put in their way, the Pontiac engineers were always just a little bit different, just a little bit wilder than everyone else in General Motors. They took, no matter how mediocre the product that GM gave them, they turned it around. They did put whatever spin they could on it to bring some excitement into uh, the offerings that GM had. You know, but, it, but unfortunately, with GM management getting in the way, they diluted everything that made Pontiac special, which is a lot of what GM did in the 80s. Well, going into the 90s, and even into the early 2000s, leading up to the big bankruptcy in 2008. And that was the downfall of General Motors. They had to remove a few, a few of their divisions in order to get the money they needed from the government to keep them going. Now, a lot of people, that government loan is a big controversial thing among a lot of people. I happen to think that it was a good thing that it made GM lean, mean, and brought them back fighting, and now they're on top of the world again. Unfortunately, that cost us Pontiac, along with a few other of the GM divisions that a lot of these kids nowadays don't even know, didn't even know existed. So um, let's take a look at a couple of the Pontiacs of the past and some of what made that particular brand special and unique among GM's uh, more mundane offerings. Alright guys, so here we have it. This is the latest issue of Car and Driver. And uh, from looking at the cover, it's a Tesla Cybertruck. Okay, blah blah blah. Big deal. 
looks like it should hit 60 miles an hour in 2.6 seconds. But uh, really, it looks like a brick on wheels. I think Lego could have come up with a better design than this. But uh, that's not what we're here to see. So let's just go right past the uh, front cover. We're going to take a look inside. Here we have advertisements. Blah, blah, blah. Tab Tesla Cybertruck. Some good looking Porsches there. Uh, let's see. We're going to go past it. We have a bunch of interesting articles here. More SUVs. Uh, that's just silly. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. Here we go. Part the laborers. So that looks like some interesting stuff there. We're going to keep going and going and going. And we're going to keep going. We're getting closer. Here we have more of the Tesla Cybertruck. Blah, blah, blah. Who's really interested? Not me. More SUVs. And this is the problem with today's car world. Okay. This is all it is. This is all it is. This is all the big news. SUVs. SUVs. This is this is it. This is the entire world automotive landscape today. Plug-in hybrids. SUVs. Where's the fun? Where's the excitement? Wait, we found a little bit of fun and excitement here. Okay, see? It's not all doom and gloom for automotive enthusiasts. There we go. A Porsche and a new Mustang. Oh, Dark Horse. Tearing through some canyon roads. Manual transmissions. Imagine that. I know these things are slowly going extinct, but... There's still a couple of choices out there. Nice. Very nice to see. And here we have some Japanese enthusiasts. An article on what's going on in Japan. Here's a Maserati. We have some reviews. And this. Now this is luxury. That is crazy. I've been in one of these. Amazing in there. You're driving. This is your living room here. This is the best leather, the best wood. Wow. Okay, I'm getting distracted now. Uh, mixed breed, blah, blah, blah. Some engine stuff, some car stuff. Uh-oh, we're getting closer. Okay, guys. Here we are. This is the reason I picked this magazine up. Look at that. Okay. This is the only reason I picked this magazine up. Make some noise. Pontiac is back. This is an amazing advertisement. Now, this is a GM advertisement. Now, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let me just bring it to you guys. Easy. This doesn't mean Pontiac is coming back. This is, I think, GM testing the waters to see if they should bring Pontiac back. And when you see that bird, it starts to get your blood boiling. I know it does for me because I want Pontiac back. There is so much room in General Motors for a performance division that there is no way that they could not bring Pontiac back. I mean, really, what do they have to offer? The Corvette. That's pretty much it. The Camaro's going away. The Corvette's all they have. And right now is the best time ever for them to bring back Pontiac just as a performance division. Nothing else. And let's take a look at what it says here. Pontiac fans, it's been a weird 15 years since we left, hasn't it? Now we can't definitively say that Pontiac's absence influenced the event's we have all been through, but come on, caffeine comes out of four loco and now it is and now it's in lemonade. Everything on the road looks like an Aztec now, which is true. Have you seen some of these new SUVs? Take a look at some of these.
America needs us. The future needs us. So Pontiac is back. Our first model is a hybrid. Surprise. Well, it uses ba it uses a battery and an electric motor to start a 667 horsepower supercharged 372 cubic inch V8. And we think you're going to want one. Because what else are you going to do? You can't buy a new Dodge Challenger and leave the splitter guards on anymore. Don't worry, we've got you. Our new car's entire front end is a splitter guard. At Pontiac, we're here to offer a future filled with V8s, great sounds, gold pinstripes, and window louvers. And if someone shouts last call, we'll just smuggle in some cores from Colorado and keep the party going. Make some noise. Pontiac is back. But we do have to look at the disclaimer on the bottom here. Do you need to be told that this advertisement is fake and not to be taken seriously? All lawyers think you do. Now, let me ask you guys. Do you think GM would have taken out a full page ad in one of the world's biggest car magazines just as a joke? Think about that. I don't think so. I think this is GM testing the waters, seeing what kind of reaction this makes. And if it starts people calling them, it starts people emailing them, starts people posting on social media about this ad, that Pontiac will be back for real. And I'm telling you guys, if you guys want to see some high performance automobiles back on the streets made in America or Australia. I mean, let's be real. Pontiac class offerings were amazing cars, but they weren't exactly all American, if you know what I'm saying. But if you want to see some muscle machines coming back, hitting the streets, burning some rubber, then make some noise. Bring Pontiac back. Get on the phone. Get on your computers, get on social media, make sure GM knows that you saw this ad and this is what you want. I know that's what I'm going to do. So that's it, guys. This was my big announcement here. GM is testing the waters. Let's make sure they go for a full swim. All right, that's it. I'm going to go now. I have a lot of social media to do about this and I will see you guys on the next one.